Cincinnati, Ohio. 16 teams remain in Division I college hockey of the 59, and the Ferris State Bulldogs are one of them. Ferris State comes in as the number two seed, the Colgate Raiders the number three seed. They will see each other on the ice at 4.30 p.m. Friday afternoon. On Thursday, the Bulldogs had a practice, and after that, the team addressed the media. Here's the captain, Scott Zernauzen. Yeah, the coach said, uh, in the past, we last time we were here in the regionals, we just know you're never out of the game. No, it doesn't matter if you're down two goals, three goals, but you're never out of the game. It's regionals, and we're right here in the tournament. Anything can happen. It's just a fluke goal. It we're bounced, something goes in, and you spark your team, and you're ready back in it. So it doesn't matter if you're down, you're up, you're still in the game. you got to play full 60 minutes. Garrett Thompson leads the Ferris State Bulldogs in points. Here's what he had to say in the press conference as well earlier on today. Well, I mean, obviously, you know, like, this is the type of game that you don't come across very often. Um, uh, in Ferris's program history, it's the third time that they've made the tournament, and, uh, you know, being a part of one of those before, um, it obviously gives you, uh, gives you the aspects to know what to expect coming in. I mean, it's a big game, but it doesn't mean that you need to freak out or it means you need to, you know, change everything up. You just play your own game, and um, I think it brings a more of a comfortable feeling to it and uh, you know you, you just know what to expect. When Ferris State faced off against Colgate in the Mariucci Classic in January, Corey Kane was not in the lineup. Although he was with the team, he will make a difference this week. Um, I think I think it's a good thing. We know we know what to expect. Uh, and there's not going to be any uh, surprises, I should say. And I think uh, I mean we met him early in the season, the first games of the season, and we met him in January, but. As, as the season's progressed, I think we've, we've definitely changed, we've evolved, and uh, you know, I, I think that, you know, they might, I wouldn't say get a little cocky, but you know, uh, they might think, take us, take a little for granted that they've, they've taken us down twice in the last three. So I think, you know, it might play a little bit in our advantage. So. Oh no, really good team, and, and fortunately we've seen them enough to, to really get an appreciation for the quality opponent that they are. I, I know that uh, they're very similar to us in a lot of ways in that um, very very uh, fluid defensive core. They skate really well. They've depth in scoring up front. They've got good goaltending. The two teams are really evenly matched. Colgate pulled off the last one, but you were missing your captain Scott Zarnowski and Corey Kane, a senior forward. How big of an addition will they be this week? No, I mean they're big no matter who we play, but it, it, it's great to have. Them. I don't know if they would have made a difference that weekend. I thought Colgate was really on a, on a high and playing really well, and obviously they carried it through the entire second half, but certainly we're more comfortable having both Sarnowson and Kane in the lineup than we are without them. There you have it. That's hockey head coach Bob Daniels. Ferris State has played Colgate three times already this year. The first week of the year, Ferris State won 7-4 on Saturday night before falling 1-0 on Sunday. After that, the Bulldogs did face off against the Colgate Raiders in the Mariucci Classic, a 3-0 loss. But tonight, it's when it matters. Here in the NCAA Tournament, one game elimination. The Bulldogs advanced to the national championship game in 2012. Can they do it again this year? Ferris State versus Colgate, 4.30 p.m. Friday afternoon. Televised on ESPN3. You can listen to it across West Michigan on 97.3 FM and worldwide on FerrisStateBulldogs.com. Dominic Hennig, Cincinnati, Ohio.